just know out here that everything out here is absolutely expensive. In fact, this house over here on the right hand side, five built houses, a beautiful home with an addition and a sunroom right on the water, coming in at about fourteen million dollars. Not a bad price for all of that property. In fact, he does own everything back from here to the dock. He doesn't like neighbors, is what I'm told. But uh, you can see they're fixing it up. His wife is very happy with it because he put in a vernacular for her. What's a vernacular? Well, kids call it a roller coaster. But if you look at the edge of the property, that's an elevator for women to not get sweaty. Yeah, you just ride up the elevator, and uh, 20 steps doesn't mean anything to you. Kids, how about a waterfall swimming pool? Here on the right-hand side, that blue swimming pool is a waterfall. And they actually usually have their waterfalls on. As you can see, they're living a very, very serious, tough life out here. Oh, I feel so bad for these people. Absolutely beautiful house. Now, if you're looking to purchase realty out here, first house coming in at about $14 million, second one coming in at about $12.5 million. If you look across the lake over there, besides seeing a speeding boat, look way up on the hill and you see a white house with a red roof. That belongs to a gentleman that works for Michael Dell. Now, he's not Michael Dell. That's only a 14,000 square foot home. Michael Dell's is 42,000 square feet. Uh, that thing right there, though, belongs to a gentleman who's very happy. He has a lovely wife and some children. And I don't know if you can see that mountain around there, but see that building right there that's made out of glass? That is actually a water park that he built for his children. That is not a house. It has a waterfall, a swimming pool, it has a large water slide, and not only that, but if she comes out, she's on the lazy woman river that goes around the perimeter of the property. The best part about it is that he loves her so much, he actually ordered the glass to be soundproof so she can see the kids scream. Well, she can't hear me. So, uh, those of you moms who love mommy me time, a little glass of wine while you're doing the lazy woman river, that's your man right there. Oh yeah, by the way, that beautiful building right there, it wasn't there a while ago. He used to take his children around the world to different water parks, so they're still enjoying the same good life they've always had. Take a look below it and to the right over there below it. You can see these houses coming in at 14 to about 18,000 square feet. But these houses are nothing compared to the next lake over, Lake Travis, where the houses are at least 20,000 square feet. Now, have any of you kids ever heard of the movie Spy Kids? Well, all the Spy Kids movies were filmed on the next lake over, so Lake Travis. So that's a lot bigger than lake than this. Let me just put it this way. Think of the letter V. So the shallow goes on each side, the 40 feet is right where we're at in the middle, that's the deepest portion. But the next lake over, Lake Travis, is 680 feet deep, sea level, so that's a lot deeper than this. In fact, straight ahead of us, that big old mountain up there, and now don't laugh, California, that is a uh, mountain to us, it's called Mount Bonnell. That is one of the highest points here in Austin, and by the way, that, all the way back to the dam behind us, is about how wide the next lake is, Lake Travis. It's like when you find it, say, in a solar tunnel, or in Michigan, or even in Chicago. On the right-hand side, it's like the Grand Canyon, or the mini Grand Canyon. That, all that wear and tear through the walls, you can see the water used to go all the way up to the street level, but through a thing called, uh, what we call it, weathering. The water used to crash through here, and by putting the dams on each end, we were able to stop the water, and it's called the constant bubble lake because it never fluctuates more than about seven fine? inches throughout the year. Coming up on the left-hand side, some partners, let's give them a crack and a wave on the left-hand side. Ready, one, two, three, hit it! I should tell you, those are wealthy ladies, they're not going to wave at us. Uh, here on the right-hand side, that place is known as Dennis Wayne's house. Now, Dennis is at home, and the reason I know, if you look at the flat boathouse, so take a look where you see that multicolored boathouse on your right, that big old three-level home, that's where Dennis Quaid lives, the actor. By the way, uh, he's not there because there's no helicopter on that flat roof, which is called the helipad. When it is there, Dennis Quaid is in town doing what he does best. Oh, yeah, by the way, that stone house over there on your right is where Sandra Bullock Are you used fine? to live. She don't live there no more, but she used to live out there. You want and something? By the way, when she used to live what? out there, Sandra was enjoying okay, the good okay, life we'll by the name of Jesse James. As you know, he kind of blew that out of the water, and she moved over to the next lake. He lives in a one-bedroom, one-bathroom apartment where he deserves to be on the other side of town. So ladies, he got what he deserved. This over here, look at the beautiful spots. Look at the baby spots. They're absolutely gorgeous. 
And uh, this is a very nice little island known as West Lake Beach. You can see that they are rich enough to have not only ducks, but also swans on here. By the way, don't mess with those swans. They can actually, uh, a grown one can actually break the arm of an adult male. I don't know who did the research. Let's give them a crack of the way, everybody. One, two, three, hit them. How you doing? This is a beautiful little uh, place to hang out. It's called West Lake Beach. The people that are out there enjoying it aren't the inhabitants of this neighborhood. They actually have about 10 times as much money as we do. So they definitely deserve to be there. I will say that these people celebrate being millionaires every single day. But I bet you we have celebrations. Is anybody celebrating a wedding anniversary, birthday, moments for graduation, or a divorce? Nobody's just a bunch of miserable people. All right, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. If you're looking for realty, we got it. In fact, look at this. Right here on your right-hand side, that beautiful little condo right there, coming in at about $3 million. Any of these condos, you can see the divider wall between. This gentleman right here that built this one next door, that's a new one. It wasn't here before. They tore the old one down, rebuilt it, look at that. All white furniture, beautiful view. Don't have to worry about flooding because uh, we let water out if it rains too much here, and we let water in if it doesn't rain enough. It's kind of like a one deep army house, if you look at it that way. Take a look at my friends over here on the right hand side. These are some of the okay, smartest give you people. A I don't know if you know it, but you see the sliding glass doors behind them? They can actually slide those back and forth so and turn their living room into a large, giant patio. Let's get them back in the way. How do you go, my friends? Oh, those are the nicest people on the lake right there. They always invite us over to stop in for a drink here and there. Very nice people. How about these beach right here? These guys look like they're doing a little bit of fishing. Can't blame them. Ready? One, two, three. Get them. What's up? I'll tell you what. If they live on this island right here, they're luckier than we are. This on the right-hand side is a very exclusive island. And by the way, these condos right here, there's about four per building. But you do have your own boat parking and your own island with palm trees, swimming pool, gazebo, hot tub. Oh well, yeah, by the way, four and a half million for each of those condos. Even Jimmy Buffett would be proud to be living in a place like that. Let's do a little bit of music here as long as we're out here on the water. I believe my good friend Christopher Cross said it best when he said, Today is a beautiful day for sailing. So let's do it here. Just enjoy the breeze, get your pictures while we're out here. You are enjoying the beautiful lake known as Lake Austin. The next lake over, Lake Travis. On Lake Travis, they actually have the biggest restaurant in Texas. If you get a chance to go, go to that. It's about 40 miles from here. It's called The Oasis. It is a three-level restaurant that is absolutely like being up in that water park, looking straight down into the water. They have amazing drinks, a wonderful sunset, beverage, food, terrible service. It's my favorite place to go. You get a chance to check it out. Oh, yeah, by the way, The Oasis has Uncle Billy's Brewery up there and lots of shops for you ladies to enjoy a little bit of shopping. Right hand side is a very popular place. It is the only gas station on this lake. The bait store, the ice store. Uh, by the way, gas is $7 per gallon, but they don't care. They have a lot of money here. The right hand side, why do we got two basements? In fact, the capital is the only basement in the entire city with $75 million to the taxpayers uh, as a basement. But right here, that is why we don't do basements. Nothing but solid rock underneath all of that great shrubbery, which makes it impossible to do a basement. And even if you do, that's going to crack and crumble. I like the way the guy next door to the left, you can see he used the natural terrain to build his own stairwell all the way up to the top, which is absolutely fabulous. That's a great way to uh, kind of reuse things around here, which is what we're all about being green. Uh, these condos here on the right-hand side, each of those buildings is two condos in one. The reason I point it out is if you look at the last one over here, the, well, next to the last, the green mint one there, uh, that actually sold the left-hand side where you see in the canopy over the boat. They sold that one about 10 years ago when I moved here for $350,000. Now that has been re 